15 today, but first on one, Rachel is seeing red, having been caught boozing in Shortland Street. Even I can resist temptation sometimes. So you are tempted. Chris has been very clear. He loves you to bits. I know. I'm sure you'll find somebody else in no time. What are you doing? so horrified. It's just one civilised drink after work. Yes, and we both know with you, one drink turns into ten. And it's not so civilised then, is it? That's ancient history. <laughs> I haven't forgotten what it was like, have you? Drinking in moderation is the only way I can prove I've beaten my demons. While I was totally dry, alcohol was still the big bad devil waiting to get me. That sounds like the devil talking right now. If I was some desperate lush pouring vodka into my coffee, you don't think the DHB would be onto me? I'd never stay on top of this job. And you know I'm doing much better than staying on top of it. Mm. Guy was able to function at a high level too, until his habit got the better of him. I'm not Guy. I've got my problems under control. And as one of my oldest friends, I'd expect you to have a little bit more faith in me. I am saying this because I am one of your oldest friends. I have seen you go down this road before, and it's a dead end. Let me get this straight. You told your son you wouldn't help him skip the job queue until you realised there was a free website in it for you. He called me on my flexi principles too. <laughs> hey, you're teaching him the value of compromise. He can learn all that stick to the rules stuff in his day job. Mm, believe me, Maxwell's making sure he learns fast. He bored Daniel out so bad he was scared to go back into ED. Oh, playing the big man by picking on the weakest link. Mm. Nice. I had a word with him and got my head bitten off. He can be such... But he apologised later. And then we got talking. Turns out the tough guy routine hides a whole lot of hurt. Behind those rock-hard abs hides a frightened little boy. <laughs> Please. Well, maybe you've been too busy looking at the rock-hard abs to notice. And why not? You're both single now. A single, not deranged. <laughs> anyway, um, how long does Daniel think the website's gonna take? They're beautiful. <gasps> Quick, my husband's away. He'll never know. <laughs> Yeah, they're always this bad. <laughs> well, I have a serious allergy to PDAs, so... <laughs> sorry, sorry, we'll stop. Um, stay for dinner. Thanks anyway, but I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> well, you're the lucky one. You get to leave. <laughs> Could someone please get me some more water? I need to stay hydrated. The fizzy stuff, Mum, it makes me feel better. How long does it take to get over dengue fever, love? I mean, you're looking great. Oh, thanks. I was supposed to go into work tomorrow, but um, Callum insisted after my horrific ordeal that I take another day off. Not that I'm looking forward to it, all those reminders of Oliver. At least you know it's only for a couple of weeks. Then you're off on a nice long Christmas break. Yeah, I wanted to talk about how we were going to spend that. Oh, I vote the classic Kiwi summer, Beach in the Batch. And the bugs? Do you want the mosquitoes to finish me off? Are we talking summer holidays? I vote for something child-friendly. So we can swim in a pool half full of kiwi. No thanks. Whatever you girls decide, you'll be on your own this year. The day before Christmas, I'm flying out to Adelaide for a week. What? By yourself? Yes. Since when? Since I decided. I think it's just what I need. You said you're looking forward to spending the holidays with JJ. And you always say Christmas is about family. And if I ever need my family around me, it's now. We can't just go flying off. I'll only be away for a week. There'll be plenty of family time when I get back. Have you already booked? No, not Tickets yet. Tickets this time of year will cost a bomb. No, not to mention the heat in Adelaide. You'll melt. Why don't you put it off till later? I want to do it now. Go on holiday alone. With other people's family. <laughs> you'll feel like a dully no, mate, so you know you will. And we want to be together this year, Mum, all of us. Oh, I suppose if it means that much to you, I could go another time. There, you look more relaxed already. <laughs> there was an interesting study done on the use of intranasal fentanyl for paediatric analgesia. 
It's just as well you married a fellow medical geek. As far as romantic dinner talk goes, this wouldn't fly with most girls. <laughs> I wonder Dan chose to eat at his computer. <laughs> Sorry, we can talk about the course later. No, don't stop now. This geek is in her element. Well, uh, the, the trial involved kids between 3 and 12, and the younger ones used the um, Wong Baker facial scale for pain scoring. Well, I saw the fentanyl being used on a girl during an Ivy cut down in the scene. So you were working with these kids firsthand? That must have been really cool. But actually, there was almost no patient contact. It was full on theory. Oh, never mind. You'll have plenty of opportunity to uh, practice your bedside manner this evening. <laughs> I'm not cancelling the trip. I'm just postponing. The thing is, I can't postpone. I've already paid for my flight and air accommodation. They're both non refundable. Oh, I'm sorry. I've given you such a run around, and now I'm costing you hard earned money. It's okay. Family comes first for you. I'll work something out. Maybe it's time my family came second. Does that mean? It means we're going as planned. I just wish that line came more easily to me. Well, then you wouldn't be you. I wish you didn't have to lie at all. It's supposed to be a fun trip, not a guilt trip. I'll get over it. Adelaide's a cosmopolitan city. I'm sure that I could find a good excuse to be there at Christmas. I redrafted my proposal to include your idea about hiring out the surgical team to Australian hospitals. I'd appreciate your feedback. You must have been up half the night. Had to do something while I worked my way through the rest of that bottle of whiskey. You just don't believe I can change, do you? Despite all the research that says a problem drinker can become a moderate drinker. I've done the reading too. It actually says that moderation is unlikely to work on anyone who already meets the criteria for dependence. There are exceptions for every role. Okay, answer me this. If it's all under control, why have you consistently refused to drink in my company? I had to catch you at it. Because I knew you'd overreact. You're probably ready to call AA and dob me in. No, but I think you should call them. Forget the feedback. You'd just be looking for spelling mistakes I made on my imaginary bender. I was there, Rachel. For all the drunken scenes and the blackouts and the miserable mornings after, I don't ever want to see you like that again. Maybe you prefer see me as a victim. That way you can pity me instead of feeling other things. Yeah, I do pity you because you're in denial. There's only one place that can lead. At least they work in different departments. You don't have to worry about surprising them in an ED cubicle. <laughs> I think I've got other worries, like staying out of the way of that Javier guy. Hey, got your back, bro. Even if that guy's head on you, doesn't scare me. <laughs> Still, I better not be late, huh? Mm, right, no, wait. Uh-oh, PDA alerts again. No, don't panic. I'm just wondering if my darling husband can meet me for lunch today. Ah, uh, well, I might be booked. Uh, my other admirers might have missed me, too. Oh, your other admirers, eh? What admirers? I want names. I want names. No, no, give it to me. Oh. How cute. You obviously scored a group of admirers on your course. Yeah, um, just a last-minute photo up on the last day. I they thought a bunch of doctors on a course look pretty dull. No, 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 let me see. <clears throat> it was more than just theory, wasn't it? You were working really closely with these kids. We'll talk about this later. Good to go. Sorry. Did I put my foot in it? I didn't think there was anything for you to put your foot in, but uh, apparently I was wrong. Oh, those um, holiday ideas. What are you doing here? Well, I felt so much better, so I thought I'd come in for a pre-work visit. Get all that pointing and staring over a dumb one. Family batch with rustic charm. It probably means a long drop. There's plenty of choices. There's bound to be something to make us all happy. What's your preference, Mum? Bay of Islands or Coromandel? Neither. I'm going to Adelaide as planned. I looked at other dates, and then I saw that the pole art festival was on between Christmas and New Year. Pole art? The festival of Polish visual and performing arts. And this is a must-see event. Why? <laughs> well, my grandmother on my father's side was part Polish. Only a tiny part, wasn't it? Yes, but I've always been interested in learning about the culture. Then go to the library and get a book, and you can read it on holiday with us. No. You're all big girls now. 
and you're on your own this year. All right? He lied to me. He said he had virtually no contact with kids when obviously he did. And this was him trying not to upset you? <sighs> That's all we do these days. We tiptoe around each other trying not to upset each other, trying not to start another fight about babies. I thought you'd agreed on no kids. We had. And TK says that he understands. He says it's a non-issue. But then he decides not to tell me about the kids. What am I supposed to think? <laughs> How lucky you are that TK loves you so much. I witnessed the homecoming last night, remember? TK adores you. And from what you're saying, it sounds like he was just trying to protect you. From what? Knowing how happy he is when he works with kids? I already know that. But hiding it from me? I kept my MS from him, and what a stink that caused. Since then, it's supposed to be no lies and no secrets. Now this. Don't you think you're blowing things a bit out of proportion? Just talk to him. Tell him how seeing that photo made you feel. And bring the baby issue up again? Did I miss a meeting? This isn't work. It's a personal issue I'd like to discuss with Callum. I want you to hear what I have to say. You really sure you want to do this? Yep. Sure you want to do what? I thought you should know I am a recovering alcoholic. I drink in moderation now, but it's not a problem. If that's the case, Rachel, why are you even telling me? I'd hate for the hospital to suffer because I allowed myself to backslide. You think that might happen? Absolutely not. But total transparency is my insurance policy to guarantee that it doesn't. I take it you've informed the DHB? As soon as they hired me. They've had no reason to doubt that my problems are in the past. Chris, anything to add? Nothing Rachel hasn't heard already. In spite of my exemplary record, Chris still doubts I can function professionally and have a social drink now and again. I've had no cause to doubt it, Rachel. You haven't put a foot wrong while you've been here. Thank you, Callum. Now we've got that cleared up, I have work to do. Tim's has a water slide and an adventure playground. It's perfect for JJ. Sorry, and JJ's just... the only one it's perfect for. I vote we take a road trip to Gizzy in time for Rhythm and Vines. Can I remind you that I've just been through a, a horrific ordeal? We, we know. Well, I have. And I'd like some comfort and luxury, not a sleeping bag and a portal, though. Sounds like it's not going to be much fun for anyone if you three go on holiday together. So why don't you just put it in a too hard basket and go your separate ways? If you've got nothing better to do than standing around eavesdropping, you can take Mr. Opata in room 7 to his lumbar spine x-ray. Happy to. Tactlessness obviously runs in the Potts family. <sighs> I actually am yeah, starting to think he's got a point. What are all those admirers I was hearing about this morning? Uh, no admirers and no wife either. She's working through lunch. Uh, the joys of being HOD. Oh well, you can tell me all about the course. Has it got you thinking about a career in paediatrics? What do you want, Brooke? To say sorry for stirring up the whole kid thing, making a big deal of that photo. I didn't mean to upset either of you. Is that why Sarah's not here? What if she's here? You can ask her yourself. But do it sooner rather than later. This kind of issue can fester. If I need relationship advice, I'll ask someone I trust. Right. OK. But. I raised the idea of training in paediatrics for a reason. Not just your natural sensitivity? <laughs> Be cool. I'm about as sensitive and nurturing as your average block of ice. You, on the other hand, were at the front of the queue when they gave that stuff out. So use it. Make kids the focus of your professional life rather than your personal one. Sarah would love that. Maybe like us as someone with a fair of spiders to have with a tarantula. Sure, it could be touchy at first, but over time it could normalise the whole issue. You'd get a productive outlet for all that nurturing instinct and in return have fulfilling relationships with hordes of snot-nosed brats. You know, for um, an insensitive block of ice, that's all totally bad advice. Really? Really. Thanks, bro. Rachel may not want to hear your two cents worth, but I do. Why? She's not going to listen to you any more than me. But if you know she's kidding herself, I'd certainly like the heads up. You haven't already had to peel her off the tiles at the IV, have you? Actually, I only found out she was drinking again last night. 
uh, drinking in moderation. Remember, Chris. And to be quite frank, that's all I've seen from her. Well, I've seen the rest. She had self-destruction down to a fine art. Those impulses don't just vanish overnight. <laughs> Believe me, Chris, if I could find dirt on Rachel that I could take to the DHB, I would. I don't particularly like being under the microscope. But when we've had a few drinks together, it's been entirely uneventful. She didn't try to talk you into another round, anything like that. She's been warmer than a usual glacial self, but most people are when they've had a tipple. <laughs> Rachel doesn't tipple. She drowns in it. Or she used to. Chris, we've both done things that we're not proud of. But I'm guessing we'd like to leave past mistakes in the past. We don't always learn from our mistakes. Sometimes we do. And maybe you should give Rachel the benefit of the doubt. I told you I was bad at lying. I mean, really. I couldn't give two figs about Polish art. I promise that's the last lie you'll ever have to tell. I hope so. I'm exhausted. I need a holiday. Well, let's fit the bill. Relax and enjoy an intimate atmosphere designed with romance in mind. Oh, the one I booked has two separate rooms and a shared living area, so you'll have your own space. Thank you, Ben, for making this happen. We both made this happen. I'm late, so. I thought I'd find you here. Is it Ben? Uh, yeah, I just uh, went for a walk and I uh, saw him having his lunch. Oh. oh, well, don't panic. I won't tell Tanya that you were consorting with the enemy. <laughs> Probably time she moved on anyway. Bet he has. Anyway, we've had progress on the holiday. I'm glad. Uh, it's nice to know you'll all be together. Actually, we won't. We couldn't agree, so we've decided to go our separate ways. Is it my fault? No, don't be silly. I'm sure that Maya and Tanya will be happier without us. Uh, sorry, without us? I've decided to come to Adelaide too. Looks like you won't be on your own after all. looking at hotels online and I can't wait to show you the one I've chosen. It's tasteful, boutique, you'll just love it. Uh, uh, hold on Libby, the Polish Arts Festival isn't your thing. We'd hardly see each other. I've been thinking about that too and while you're on your weird cultural pilgrimage I can go on wine tours and shop. Libby, I said from the outset that I wanted a holiday on my own. I still do. Well you'll have plenty of time on your own, just some quality mother and daughter time too. We can plan another holiday for that. This time, I'm going alone. I see. Well, looks like I'll have my holiday on my own too. Despite my recent horrific ordeal. Well, I'll see you at home later. That is, if you still want to have dinner with me. How crazy that sounds? You're suggesting using young, vulnerable patients to meet your need to be a dad. Where are the professional ethics in that? That's not what I'm suggesting, okay? This is about working in a field I have a lot of energy for, and you know I'd be good at it. Every patient would be one more kid that you don't get to take to their first rugby game or read a bedtime story to. I thought the same thing when Brooks suggested it. Hang on, this is Brooks' idea. Surprisingly, yes, and I think she's onto something. Something that could make you feel worse, not better. <sighs> okay, look. In a perfect world, we have a baby on our own. Okay, but I'd rather be grateful for what I can do than spend the rest of my life regretting what I can't. Well. I would rather be grateful too. And I am grateful to have you. If this is really what you want, then I'm right behind you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not here to drink the bar dry. I'm getting dinner too. In that case, I recommend the lamb shanks. Okay, sounds good. Oh, sorry about today. I should have warned you before the meeting with Callum. Don't apologize for any of it. 
We're strictly colleagues now, so what you do in your personal life has nothing to do with me. Well, we're friends, aren't we? Good friends. Sure. And as your friend, I wish you all the best. I better get going before Harry convinces Gabrielle to feed him cereal for dinner. Pot climb and soda, please. Coming up. Bad day. I really don't need the standard balm and patter. I just need the drink. Hold the chit chat. Got it. Thank you so much for the recipe, Mrs. Wilson. I'm sure it'll score points with my husband. You're welcome. <laughs> I would have thought TK would be trying to get back into your good books, not the other way around. No, it's all sorted, thanks to you. Oh, you're not mad that I spoke with him? I would never have suggested paediatrics in a million years, but it's perfect, so yes, I am definitely thanking you. Well, I must be getting better at this stuff. <laughs> good night, ladies. Or not. <laughs> hey, you told me and TK to hang in there. Maybe you should do the same with Callum. I'm just glad that you have the kind of relationship that can be fixed. Hi. Hi. I just thought I'd let you know that I stayed late to type up three contracts so that you're ahead when you come back to work tomorrow. You didn't need to do that. I also looked online for information about a holiday up north for singles in your age bracket, so you don't have to be all on your own. Oh, I'll be all on my own with strangers. Thank you very much. Libby, I'm not trying to hurt you. Please don't be like this. Oh, it's all right, Mum. Like you said, we're all big girls now. I'll have a good holiday on my own, and so will you. Great. I might sneak a peek at my wee poppet. Well, don't wake him up. It's like he's been on rocket fuel tonight. Mm -hmm. Two seconds. Mm. you to go snooping through other people's things. You didn't want me to come to Adelaide with you because you're already going with someone, aren't you? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, Polish art indeed. <laughs> you're having a naughty week away. Well, who's the mystery man? 